I would like to explain why Trump's st statement that day at the CIA is unquestionably dangerous. If we kept the oil, you probably wouldn't have ISIS because that's where they made their money in the first place. So we should have kept the oil, but okay, maybe we'll have another chance. Now obviously that is the, the epitome of imperialism, an effort of the stated purposes of the international coalition against the Islamic State. It is, however, something that was frequently brought up as the Justin Bellow for the 2003 invasion by both opponents of the war and jihadist recruiters throughout the world. The common refrain of apologists, such as Greg Sheridan in a column over the weekend, seems to be the Selena Zito quote about taking Trump seriously over literally. That is to say, words are unimportant, actions are the yardstick. However, once you're the president, words become an action. In Australia, Atlas Mining shares have seen a 500% increase since the election off the back of expectations about Trump's $1 trillion infrastructure plan. If, your work, if you work for them or own shares in the company, the President's words have mattered. And more to the current point, three-time Pulitzer Prize nominee Bazu Daragahi interviewed Western allies in the fight against ISIS, who said that they would turn against coalition forces if the oil was requisitioned. Now, it probably won't become US policy to do this, especially as foreign policy has pointed out, doing so would be a violation of international law and incredibly difficult. But forgetting, but forgiving all of this as a bid in a global negotiation a la the art of the deal doesn't hold water because he's aggravating the people assisting in fighting ISIS while simultaneously giving terrorist recruiters a fantastic line without any distortion to turn Iraqis against the West. Despite this, when asked to clarify Monday, Sean Spicer doubled down, saying Trump, quote, wants to make sure that Americans get something out of it for the commitment and the sacrifice that we're making. This is dangerous. It emboldens our enemies and threatens the peace which 780 Australian Defence Force personnel are currently risking their lives to bring forth. Words matter. Hyperbole has no place coming from the mouth of the United States President. I say this on a day where he spoke to business leaders about creating jobs and promised to meet with union officials. I am not blind to his virtues, but they don't seem to outweigh his faults. Thank you for your time.